Welcome to another edition of Full Day of Yu-Gi-Oh! The segment on my channel where I take you guys on a full day discussing Yu-Gi-Oh! topics and going to locals. And in today's episode, regionals was two weeks ago. As you guys already know, I finished 5-1-3. Which, if you guys do not know, 5-1-3 is five wins, one loss, three losses. So, that's done. I was pretty upset about it, as you guys already know, but it is what it is. So, in today's episode, I'm just going to be prepping for the next major i guess i could say major event i'm going to which is the ots championships here in chicago and if you guys are not familiar with the ots championships they are a tournament that's held pretty much multiple days throughout the regional season and the way it works is um it's essentially regionals at your locals you go to the locals you play in it and top four players at the end of the day get their invite to regionals and that's my goal is to get my invite to nationals at this OTS championship event. I've never been to one, but it's pretty much just going to a glorified locals with um, extra prizing and trying to get your invite to national. So yeah, I'm pretty confident in my deck. I think I can make it today. My goal is today, of course, is to go undefeated and work out the kinks from there. So with all that being said, let's get into it. Oh, by the way, I'm playing heroes. Without further ado, let's begin. Ice on my wrist, looking kind of cool. Bad bitch with me, she ain't trying to move. Niggas staring at me, what you trying to do? Got me looking at my watch, and it's time to do. First round. Man, these are cool right here. I like these in right here. These are dope, dope, dope. So, how most people running, bro? So this is interesting. Me and my homie both forgot our play mat. He forgot. You forgot your extra deck, right? Yes, extra deck and that, like, but I'm, I'm here. <laughs> we just in this bitch playing. That's fine. Hi, right, y'all. So I'm testing this camera out in low light, and so far so good. I'm liking it. So round one and two is over. Actually, round three just got called. So I got to hurry up back. Uh, I drew with my homie Q round one using Alter Geist, Spellcaster, weird Alter Geist variant. Then I just beat um, Alter Geist. No, I'm sorry. I just beat Orcus. So, pretty fun games, pretty fun match. Um, yeah, next round I just got called. So, I'm going to see you guys in the next clip. I just wanted to update you guys and try to do some filming. It's like literally all my rounds are damn near going into time again. So, I got to work on playing a little faster. So, yeah, man. See you guys in the next clip. All right, child, so round three is over. I just ended up beating the weirdest but coolest deck, um, World Chalice, but he was attacking like Exchange of Spirit to take cards out of my hand to give me a card. And he like literally almost OTK me if I didn't have fucking, um, if I didn't have um, Super Poly. So pretty intense game, pretty cool. Duel overall, but I ended up getting it 2-0, um, I believe. So yeah, man, got one more round left and we're going to see what we can do. So far, I got one draw and um, two wins. And I'm loving my deck. Like, I'm still loving the deck. The deck is amazing. It's insane. Read much, nothing much more to say. Same list I played at regionals, and it's pitting in work at local. So, I'll see you guys in the next club. Going first against Orcus. Let's see what I can do. I can All right, y'all. So, tournament over. I ended up finishing X 1 1. Playing against my homie Dominic in the final round, and he was playing go second Orcus. Made me go first. I completely did a big fucking misplay. Thought I had a first turn Dark Law with back row. Well, I thought I had a first turn Dark Law with a broken hand, and I didn't, and I got OTK. Silly me, but yeah, made a lot of best plays game one. It's never, neither here or there, I lost a loss. And then game two ended up um, making him go first. It was a grind game, but he ended up getting it 2-0 my ass. So first time playing against a solid goal, make me go for that. Yeah. First time playing against a solid goal second Orcus player, because the ones I played at regionals, well, they were pretty good. I mean, they were still getting used to things like Nibiru main deck, and et cetera. So yeah, man, we got no more rounds left. I'm waiting on my prizing. Then we're gonna see what we can do after this. I'm gonna go home, go over my deck list, talk about things I learned today and about plays I should make on my deck. So yeah, man, I'm gonna see you guys in the next clip. All right, y'all, so we're back at home now. I'm gonna be opening packs from the event and going over my matches. And so, yeah, 
like I stated, um, I didn't really get to record much today because literally my game, my round one, I played against my homie Q, old high school buddy of mine, and um, our game went to time, and I ended up drawing it out because pretty much we were tied game two, and I won game one, which kind of sucked, but it is what it is. And then game two, I'm sorry, then round two played against, damn, I forgot. <laughs> Like round two was complete blur in all honesty. Like I played against um Yeah, I probably have to go back and watch the footage. And then I remember round three was World Chalice. The guy, I remember him because I didn't really record match during that game. Because that the guy was like super extra serious for no reason. I think because he had a cold, like he was sniffing a little bit throughout the game and um Yeah. But I understand that sometimes people um when they play they want to take the game as serious as possible, which is all good. Then round four, like I said, I lost against um go second orcas which was like yeah so overall it is what it is like my go second orcas game was so shitty because like game one i literally he made me go first i'm like okay but make i know he was playing with orcas oh shit another pot of desires but i literally have two of these now alti alti nice cool not complaining at all <laughs> oh so yeah like the go second orcas game um he literally made me go first and i had a lit hand a lit hand and i thought i had like a first turn one of those savage hands where i can go first turn dark law and um with dystopia if i can pop and i didn't have a hand like that and i ended up making a subpar play and he had an otk play because he had mind control and yeah that sucks and then game two he just savaged me because i literally I, I i chose to go first i'm like okay maybe i can make dark law this game open up legit all hand traps and rota I mean, I grabbed straddles and that kind of did something. Now, hashtag not really. So, I was in a pretty sticky situation at that point. And, um, yeah, kind of funny because um, Dominic, the guy that beat me, he opened up a Aussie Orcus card that or Orcus XYZ. When, when you bring him out, he sends a monster from the, from the physical very rare. So, me opening it in Desires is pretty good. So, yeah. Two weeks in a row, back to back desires. I am lucky with the packs, man. Lucky with the packs. But yeah, man, um, locals today was pretty fun. I can't even complain. It was a pretty chill locals. Getting my deck ready for um OTS championships. Like in all honesty, real talk, I'm more worried about just me play erroring at this OTS other than my deck. My deck is just solid. Like I really didn't have any scarcity against any matchups I played. Kind of same like how regionals was. It was like literally like I'm playing against Orcus and he has the Owls and or he's playing around Super Poly. He's going to have game. And if they play that way, they play that way. But if they don't and I have an out, I can win. So, but let's need to hear it there, man. Um, not complaining at all. It's just one of those things where it's like, I know the power of my deck. I know my deck can do. So I just got to hope when I go, well, I ain't going to say I got to hope. I just got to learn how to play faster. That's my biggest thing with this deck. I play too slow with it. Like, I feel like my game with my homie Q shouldn't have with the time i feel like i should have played a little faster than i think i could have won like literally i won game one pretty in a pretty swift time then game two was a grind game we were both going back and forth and like legit he's used to playing these weird quirky decks however this deck was like ultra geist with some random spell casters who i've never read before then he was playing spell the spell book card that you can send a spell casting card to draw two. Like cute, my homie Q has always been known, even when we played Naruto, to play the most randomest decks ever. And he just completely smashed me game two, to say the least. Like he literally showed me the power of what Alter Guys can do with the random stuff that he did. He, he actually gained the nick gained the nickname Random Q, which is pretty, pretty hilarious. So but yeah, man. Like I said, main deck's still the same. Um not making any changes at all. Um I guess one thing I can cons potentially consider altering my side deck slightly, but I don't know. Like, I feel like, okay, this is not in my side deck, but I feel like this is really all I legit need. Um, my side deck is just saying for like specific matchups. Like, Warning is the only card. When I go first a lot, I find myself never siding these in. So this might come in for like a different hand trap. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. But yeah, overall, this is the only iffy card for the side deck. Maybe if I play against pendulums, but even against pendulums, like, me main deck and super poly and having tons of ways to use super poly against any opponent i play against i just don't know how useful these cards could be maybe i can side nibiru who knows like apparently a lot of hero players has been doing good top and regionals with nibiru's main deck so maybe i can side deck three nibiru's test it out my mind's all over the place man i'm actually about to go to the gym right now so i want to figure out film the last part of this vlog 
So yeah, man, um, today's locals is pretty fun. I learned I just need to play my deck better and I learned that I just need to slow down. Well, I actually, no, not slow down. I need to speed up my processes and um, I need to figure out my consistent first turn plays. Like a lot of times you can set up a board and you can go off with your combo, but a lot of times if you can't set up your board, you literally want to grab, especially against another go second deck, Dynatag, um, because Dynatag at my regionals he saved my butt like legit playing against the go second orcas at regionals the guy one of the guys i beat and he legit tried to otk me and i dyna tagged him off the attack to the thousand and then um he obviously attacked me again and then hit me all the like five points i had like 800 left and i came back and won so dyna tag is a card legit like if you have a lot of bad plays and you don't want to get otk he can literally save your ass like legit like I feel like when I play against Ghost and Orcas today, I should have grabbed this. But that's neither here nor there, man. If you guys are playing this deck, always grab it. Dino Tag if they make you go first. If you cannot make Dark Law. So, with all that being said, man, this is Rogue Hero bringing you guys another um, full day of Yu Gi Oh! Um, if you're new here, I invite for you to subscribe for more Yu Gi Oh! content. I'm uploading every Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And I live stream is on Wednesdays. Also, I want you guys to post what you guys think I should do about, talk about on my live stream tomorrow because you guys begin this on Tuesday. So that all being said, once again, this is Rogue here, and I'm signing out. See you guys in the next one. Peace.